Printmaking class, this is one of your challenges for the year. This is what is referred to as a lateral format. It's going to be done on a soft cut, 3 inches by 12 inches. And it's a big challenge because I don't want you just to put you know, little objects here and there. I want you to fill up the whole space using good design elements. This is one that is in a vertical format. Uh, you'll find that most of us tend to look back and forth this way. We, we're not used to looking up and down. And so it's very easy for us to visualize a lateral horizontal format. But you can do whatever you like. You know, you can do it up and down or side to side. So this is called Winter Trees. Um, and I think that the student did a very good job on creating a, a nice feel for that. Your eyes drawn up. Okay. This is uh, the Tetons, done by another student. And uh, very nice, the Tetons are an expansive uh, mountain range, and so she took advantage of that. And you know, here's the lake here. Um, and so, I thought that this was rather successful. This is called High Sierra. And once again, the mountain range fits into this idea of a lateral format very, very well. And she, uh, through the use of just vertical lines, you know, you've got the horizontal this way, the vertical lines this way. So it creates a contrast, which actually uh, creates a lot of harmony. Here's a sketch of aspen trees. You know, we have a lot of aspen trees in this area. And so this was the thought for this. And then that was the print. So once again, this is, you think about elements of the design. Here we have repetition and rhythm. Stonehenge also leads itself to uh, a lateral format because it is very expansive. The, when you look at it as a whole, it's not very tall in relationship to its length. Another idea here where, you know, a little bit more darks. Now, this is called the range, another student work that, uh, and we've talked about this in background texture, where she really carved out the top trying to just create uh, this feeling of a beautiful wild sky and she the ink hit all the high points and that's how it came out. Uh, this of course uh, this student was from Alaska and so many of her pieces had a northwest or Alaska theme and so what she did here is she's got the humpback whales and where they're coming up, there's more turbulence, and uh, not quite as tight on the top where they, as they're moving into it. But also a very, very well-designed piece. Now these are some uh, professional artists. Uh, these first two pieces are done by Emily Kohler. But look how nice that is, your eye follows uh, the trees up at the slope. And if you've ever traveled through the Midwest, every so often you'll see stands of trees like this. Same thing here. A little bit, uh, you know, thicker woods, uh, a little bit more horizontal. I really like the former piece where it draws your eye up. Now, this is done by an artist by the name of Dave Leffner. And uh, this is actually a uh, color reduction. He's using two colors. But what a nice design with the power poles, with all the, the wires. But that's, once again, a vertical format. And then Sherry York, a very well-known uh, printmaker. Once again, here is, look what she's done. The coot is way over on the edge, 
So your eyes drawn there by the circles coming off on the water and also by the color. You know, not only do you have the image here, but look at the bright colors here compared to the bill colors over here. So your eye is immediately drawn over to this side and that's your focal point. You know, very nice piece. And so your challenge is to come up with a good design, either horizontal or vertical. And I want you to think of filling, filling the entire space with something that's connected. Don't just try to put little images you know, here and there. I want to be a good design. So think about the elements of design, you know, and how can you balance off this unusual shape. I've shown you some student work. I've also shown you some professional work. It's a format that's used from time to time, but it is a challenge. So that's your challenge. Thank you.